Hey lovelies, welcome to another flow and today we have a 30 minute full body feel good slow flow. So we are just going to get started in any comfortable position on the mat and then when you're here placing the palms facing up on the knees. Slowly begin to roll the shoulders back a few times. Nice. And then keeping a nice tall spine, feel free to take the gaze to the floor or close your eyes. Feel the body begin to relax, letting go of any tension in the body. Bring some awareness to your breath. Notice how your belly expands as you inhale and falls as you exhale. Take a nice big breath in through the nose. Exhale through the nose. And again, inhale. And exhale, release. Gently open your eyes. Take the hands behind your head, interlacing the fingers. Let's warm up the spine through cat cow. So inhale, push the chest forward, gazing up. Exhale, elbows together, chin to chest, rounding down. Inhale, open, push forward. Exhale, round, pull back. A few more times, inhale. Exhale. Enjoying that movement through the spine. And then come back to center. Keeping the hands interlaced, push the palms away and send the arms up to the sky. Stretching through the shoulders, through the back. Hold it here. And then release the right palm to the mat. Extend the left leg out, keeping the right knee bent. Push the hips up, sweep the left arm up, open the chest and reach to that right side. Stretching through the side body. Hold it here. and slowly release back down to the mat. Facing the left leg, we're gonna fold forward. So inhale, arms up, exhale, fold from the hips and just place the hands beside the leg. No pressure here, just let the body fall forwards. Flexing the foot, stretching through the hamstring. And release, let's take it the other side. So bend in the left leg, right leg goes to the length of the mat. Left arm down, hips up, sweep the arm up, open chest, reaching across. Breathing into the side body. Exhale, release down. Facing the right leg. Arms up, inhale, and exhale, fold forwards. Flex in the foot. Breathe. Exhale, 
and release. Bring your body back up. Make your way to tabletop, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, neutral spine. Then when you're here, extend the left leg to the back of the mat and lift the leg into the air, pointing the toes. Bend the knee, bring knee to chest, round in the back, squeeze and extend back. Two more times, knee to chest, squeeze and release. Nice, one more. Extend the leg and release the knee back down to the mat. Good. Extend the right leg, point the toes, bend your knee and then bring knee to chest around in the back, squeeze and release. Two more times, squeeze in the abs and release. One more, round and squeeze and release, knee down to the mat, nice. Then push yourself to come to a kneeling position. Sweep both arms up, inhale. Then exhale, stretch into the left side, right arm comes over. Inhale through center. Exhale, stretch over to the right side. Nice, and release. Take both hands to the lower back. We're gonna lean the body back slightly. Shift the hips forwards, open the chest, and option to let the head fall back. Feel a nice back bend, pushing the hips forwards and release. Hips come down to the heels, hands come in front of you. And child's pose, option to take the knees out wide, lowering the forehead down to the mat, releasing any tension from the shoulders. Breathe into the hips. Come up onto your fingertips, feeling a nice stretch through the shoulders. One more breath here. And then begin to push yourself up, coming through tabletop, knees under the hips, and then send the hands to the top of the mat, lower the chest and chin all the way down to the mat to come to puppy pose. Go as deep as you wanna go here. Breathe. Trying to relax the shoulders. Here for two more breaths. Really breathe all the way into the belly. And release. Come back up, then lower the hips down. Straight arms, seal pose. Option to bend the elbows if it feels a little bit better for your lower back. And then bend in the elbows, bring the chest all the way down to the mat, resting on the chin. Take both hands behind your back interlace the fingers, straight arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together and then inhale, lift the chest off the floor, engage the lower back, engage the glutes, hold it here, 
and release back down. We're gonna do this a couple more times, shoulders together, squeeze and inhale, pull the chest up, keeping the feet on the mat, hold and then release, nice. We'll go for one more, shoulders together, inhale chest up, push through the toes, squeeze and hold and slowly release down, place both palms under the shoulders, tuck your toes, then push your body up, pull the hips back and straighten the legs, come into downward dog, nice long spine. And then step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen, hands on the shins, flats back. And exhale, forward fold, keeping a bend in the knees. Inhale, halfway lengthen, gazing forwards. Exhale, fold down. Chin to chest, let's roll all the way up to stand. Inhale, take both arms up. And then exhale, open the arms, diving forward with the chest to forward fold. Hands on the mat, keeping the knees bent. Let's begin to straighten one leg at a time. So pedaling through the leg. Nice and gentle, stretching through the hamstrings. Breathe. Enjoy the stretch. And then halfway lift, gazing forward, flat back. Exhale, hands down to the mat, step both legs back to plank. Shift the body forwards, drop the knees, lower chest and chin. Keeping the bum high, hold it here. And then pushing through the hands, chest comes up to upward dog. Shoulders away from the ears, chest forwards, gazing forwards. And then tuck the toes, pull the hips back and up to downward dog, pressing into the heels, pressing through the fingers, straight spine, bending the knees if you need to, chest towards the thighs, right leg goes high, three leg dog, point the toes, hold, and then step the right foot forward. Drop the back heel down, foot at 45. Then arms up, warrior one. Keeping the hips square, bending into the right knee, gaze forwards. Oh, your back is an arch in, so tuck in the tailbone under. Then back foot comes to 90, arms out wide, warrior two. Gazing over the front fingers. Again, be mindful of the lower back. Tuck the tailbone, bend in the knee. Forearm comes to the thigh, reaching over with the top arm. Side angle. Breathe all the way through the side body. Exhale, release. Bring the arm down to the mat. Square the hips, then drop the knee down. Come into low lunge. Arms up. Push the hips down. Keep breathing through the nose. 
exhale release take both hands down to the mat tuck your toes step the right leg back come into downward dog nice keep breathing here left leg goes up free leg dog hold your free leg dog push into the heel of the right foot and then step that left foot forwards. Back heel comes down, arms up, warrior one. Keeping both arms nice and active, shoulders away from the ears, no tension. Inhale. Exhale, come to warrior two. Arms out wide, gazing forward. Find your focal point and keep breathing. Left arm comes down, right arm reaches over, side angle. And then release the right arm down, square the hips, drop the right knee to the mat. Sweep the arms up, hips low, low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands to the mat, tuck your toes, step the left leg back to plank. Shift forwards, lower knee, chest and chin. Push through the hands, up dog. And then tuck the toes, hips back, downward dog. We're gonna go again a little bit faster this time, using the breath, one breath, one movement. So inhale, right leg goes high. Exhale, step the foot forward. Drop the heel, inhale, arms up, exhale, hips low, inhale, exhale, arms out, warrior two, inhale, exhale, side angle, inhale, exhale, square the hips, low lunge, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hips low. Hands down, tuck the toes, step back to plank. Push forwards, knee, chest, chin. Exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Nice. Let the breath guide you through each posture. We go the other side. Inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, left leg high. Step forwards. Back heel down, arms up. Warrior one. On your exhale, arms out wide. Warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hips low. Hands down, step back to plank. Inhale. Exhale, knee, chest, chin. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Nice, well done. Slowly begin to walk the feet to the hands to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold down. Rolling up, nice and gentle. Arms up, inhale. 
Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway. Exhale, step back to downward dog. When you're here, lift the right leg high and step the right foot forward. Turn into the side of the mat. Feet stay nice and wide, toes pointing at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, goddess pose. Bend in the knees, arms out wide. Adjust the feet if you need to. Hold in it low, keep the hips low. Nice tall spine, imagine that you've got a string attached to the top of the head, lengthen in the spine. Inhale, arms up, straight legs. Exhale, lower down, hands to knees. Then take the left shoulder to the right knee. Come back to center, right shoulder down. And up, we're twisting here, left shoulder down, twist, back up, right shoulder down, back up, nice, inhale, straighten, exhale, sink the hips again, this time lifting the right heel off the mat, and release, left heel up, Release, again, right heel, down, left heel, down, one more time. Nice, inhale, exhale, release both hands down. Bring the hands to the hips and point the toes inwards. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, Exhale, fold forward, all the way down, placing the hands on the mat. Nice, pulling the head towards the floor. Take the left hand to the right ankle, twist and open the right arm to the sky, gazing up, option to bend the right elbow placing the hand behind the back. Twist as deep as you can go. Breathe. And release. Right hand to left ankle. Left arm opens up, reaching up. Twisting as deep as you can. Breathe. release bring both hands to the mat stay in here where you are I'm just going to turn to the side to show you what it looks like from the side option to keep the head low staying in this wide leg fold or option to come to tripod by placing the head on the mat hips high placing the knees on top of the triceps engage the core and then option to lift the legs up, come into a tripod headstand. Keeping the core nice and tight, toes pointed, legs active. And then let's reverse by bending the knees, bringing the knees back down to the triceps. And then releasing the feet to the mat. If you didn't get your tripod, don't worry, there's always next time. Coming back to that wide leg forward folds, lift the spine halfway and then lift all the way up. Nice. Let's step to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. 
Exhale, hands down, step back to plank. We're gonna chaturanga, so keeping the elbows tucked tight towards the, the ribs. We're not bending the elbows out wide. Keeping the body in one straight line, slowly lowering all the way down to the mat. And then inhale, up dog. Exhale, child's pose, hips come back. Option to take the knees out wide, allowing more space for the body to connect with the mat. Rest here for a few breaths. Slowly push yourself back up and release the legs. Keeping the knee bent, place the left leg on the floor. Then bring the right foot over the left thigh, keeping the knee bent also. Place your right arm back, left arm up. Hook the elbow over the knee and then twist and gaze in over the right shoulder. Using your elbow to push a little bit deeper, twisting, but making sure you can breathe. If you can't, then you've gone a little bit too far. And then release, release the legs, placing the right leg on the floor, left leg comes over the top, left arm back, right arm high, elbow comes over the knee and then open the chest, twisting and gazing back, breathe. And release, release the legs. Hands behind, keeping the legs as wide as the mat. Drop both knees to the left side and then take them over to the right side. Windscreen wipers, working on the internal and external rotation of the hip. Taking the knees all the way down to the mat, or maybe you can only go halfway. That's absolutely fine too. It depends on your hip mobility. If you wanna work more on hip mobility and flexibility, then feel free to watch this playlist next. And then come back to center, shift yourself forwards, hands to knees. We're coming all the way down to our back. Pull the knees to chest, squeeze the knees. Then take hands to the knees and create some circles in any direction. Enjoying a little back massage. And go the other way. And 
and then come back to center. Wrap your arms around the knees, squeeze the knees, chin to meet the knees, squeeze it into a tiny little ball, and then release. Bring the legs down to the mat. Arms beside the body, palms facing up and close your eyes, resting in our final pose, Savasana. So let all the remaining tension go and enjoy these final moments of stillness and relaxation. Slowly begin to wriggle the fingers and toes, waking the body back up. Then bend both of your knees. Lift the hips and shift them to the right side and then turn onto your left side. Keeping the eyes closed, push your way up and come to sit on the mat. Placing the hands on the knees, keeping the eyes closed. Take a nice big breath in. And exhale, release. Bring both palms to heart center. Open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. Thank yourself for showing up today. And if you would like to do more flows just like this one, feel free to join me here where I post videos every day. See you in the next one.